Hi, this is Gwen, your emotional freedom coach and inner child advocate with your strongest life. And I'm still sitting around with my leg up waiting for my knee to heal. And I was reading an article the other day by Nick Ortner from The Tapping Solution. And he was talking about the top, top five mistakes that people make when doing EFT. And I thought this might be really helpful for, for those of you that are watching this video. And so as he started out, the article is EFT takes about five minutes to learn and a lifetime to master. And I've found that to be really true. I've been doing this for a really long time and it was really easy to get started. And it just, I learn more every day. And um, so he said, mistake number one is not using it. <laughs> and that sounds kind of silly, but I think that many of us learned to just plug through these emotions and, you know, charge right through them and don't stop and, and actually do anything to comfort ourselves or to soothe ourselves. And um, I guess this is my little reminder, uh, a friendly reminder to uh, use it. <laughs> it works. It's really helpful and it can be really helpful. Um, mistake number two is not being specific enough. And when we start tapping, a lot of times we're pretty general. And I, I was thinking of what kind of an example we could use. And something like, you know, I'm not happy right now. And that's okay. We can start with a really general uh, statement. And we wanna do a few rounds of tapping to kind of calm that a little bit. You wanna check in with your body and see where you're feeling it and give it an intensity number. And as you're tapping, you wanna be become a little bit more specific. And the more specific we are, the more effective tapping is. And so maybe we wanna take the next level to, I'm not happy right now because my boss was such a jerk yesterday. You see how we just got it a little bit deeper? And so then mistake number three is not addressing all the aspects of what we're tapping on or the problem. And an aspect is another part of whatever the problem is, or another layer I like to call it, like peeling back the layers of an onion. And so when we're peeling back the layers of the onion as we're tapping, we're able to go deeper. And, you know, one of the things I love most about tapping is we're able to go deeper because we're able to calm our nervous system while we're tapping. And so it's not nearly as scary or threatening or anything because we're calming our nervous system. And so maybe the next layer would be, I'm not happy today because my boss was such a jerk last week when he said, and whatever he might have said, you can fill in that blank. And so, you know, as we go through the layers, we're able to bring up so much more things that we've been carrying in our body for so many years that are sabotaging us and we're not even consciously aware of it. And so, um, you know, what came up for me when we're talking about a boss is many clients have worked on bosses or coworkers or issues around people like that and it's brought up traumatic memories from their parents and they had buried them, repressed them. And so once those memories are brought up, we're able to reduce the sting and release the issues and let them go because they're probably not serving us anymore. And then 
Mistake number four is not tapping long enough. Very often people will say, well, oh, you know, I tapped on that. And if you ask them how long they tapped, they'll say, oh, a few minutes, but it doesn't work, and so I'm not going to use it anymore. Well, perhaps they haven't tapped long enough. And so in his article, Nick mentioned setting a timer for 15 minutes. And I've done that myself because I, you know, a lot of times the things that we want to tap on, our body is trying to resist it. So for any excuse that we can have to not do it, you know, we'll, excuse me, we'll take that. And so, you know, having a timer has, has served me well in the past. And um, so I like to remind people of that. And mistake number five is not writing things down. So when we're starting out doing a tapping session and talking about what the problem is and what we're feeling, we have an intensity number from zero to 10. And very often, if we're able to write down that intensity number, and then as we keep tapping through the issues and the layers and the aspects, um, and then we check in afterwards to see what the intensity number is now, very often it has gone down a considerable amount. Sometimes it goes up, um, but that's okay. That just means it's narrowing the focus of what we want to tap on next. And so if it goes down, um, you know, we can, people tell me all the time they just feel lighter and, and the number is significantly less. Um, and maybe some things come up about childhood and you don't have the time or energy at that moment to continue working on it. So if you write them down, you can always come back to it at another time. So I hope these are helpful for you. And, and I hope you come back next week and join me. And June is PTSD Awareness Month. So we'll have, I'll have quite a few things to talk about and tap about next month. So come on back. Thanks. Bye.